UART functional block. Let's explore the UART functional diagram in the STM32 F4 XX microcontroller. For that, let me take you to the UART section of the reference manual. Here is a block diagram of the UART hardware. This hardware block can be used for both synchronous and asynchronous data transfer. But what we currently interested in is UART that is uh, asynchronous. Here you can see four important fins which are used in UART uh, communication. TX, RX, RTS and CTS. These two pins are used to transmit and receive data and uh, these two pins are used for hardware flow control which I explained already. And if this hardware block is used in synchronous mode then CDL clock will be used. Since the UART is full duplex in communication that means you can transmit and receive data uh, simultaneously there are two data registers to achieve this one is transmit data register and another one is uh, receive data register and each data register has its associated shift register and there are a couple of control registers having uh, various control bits used to control the transmission block as well as the receiver block and this is the baud rate generation block which is used to generate the proper baud rate for the data transfer. You can see the peripheral clock undergoes various divisions to produce the proper baud rate for the data transmission. The user underscore BRR register must be configured properly with mantissa and fraction fields to produce the desired baud rate. We have a dedicated lecture to discuss about the baud rate generation using usart underscore brr register where we will explore more about this register. So for the time being, don't worry about that.